one of the things about uh, about these journeys is that you have to often ride for many many hours through through a a world that is strange and you don't know it very well <coughs> um, and and yet I'm not talking about totally deserted parts of the world. There's not very much to be learned from driving through a desert um, unless there are people or camels or something. Which but going through Africa, for example, <coughs> I often had to ride all day without stopping, really. But you learn a, an awful lot about what's going on simply by seeing what is happening in the villages and one one of the one of the most interesting and depressing things that I saw going through Africa on this last trip was the amount of charcoal that people were selling by the side of the road um, it was um, absolutely universal these big bags of charcoal and of course the only way you can make charcoal is by burning wood, and the only wood there was to burn was the, was the forests of Africa. So you begin to get a very strong sense that, uh, that as long as the population is, is growing and people need to burn charcoal, the forests of Africa are not going to last very long. And then, of course, the same thing is happening in South America. And so these are, these are the telltale things. Then, then again, you see, for example, in, in Malawi, uh, you go through a village and you see a sign for somebody who makes coffins. Um, and this is a rather unusual thing. You wouldn't expect to see that in a European town, you know, a big sign by the side of the road saying, what did, they, they, they were called energy coffins. <laughs> which is very peculiar, but clearly what the African was trying to suggest was that these that he was producing coffins with great energy. I mean, that's really all it could possibly mean. But but there were many people dying all the time, and uh, and you had to have coffins to bury them in. Um, and you see the way people cook stuff in the streets. Um, and you realize that a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the time people are living out outside their homes because their homes are not habitable really they're just places where you sleep and in the case of Malawi and 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 Zambia and other places like that it's very often because there are people dying in there you know so there are, there are many things to be learned just by observing what's what's passing by um, you get a very good sense of uh, of the politics of a, of a country just from the the, the way the, the food stuff is being handled and the sort of things that people are buying and selling yeah.